Hello and welcome to this training tutorial. This video will cover the playing back of features and programs. Okay, um, if we look at the screen, I'm just highlighting the circle. There is a play function within the circle. Uh, rather than playing the program back from the run menu, we can run features individually. Okay, we want to run the program back, we choose this feature, which will show you all the features in the program. We have a dry run option as well, which is the simulation mode. Okay, this button to play. Now, because I'm in the safe volume, it's asking me to move up, and it does this automatically. Okay, because I created the part program here, I've had to do um, nothing in terms of telling the software where the component is. So this will uh, just play back the features as I measured them. We've got a feed hold option here so you can stop at any time. You can also use the feed override on the joystick to um, stop the program and then continue. This is also a good tool for um, dry runs. You can see on the screen the next feature is highlighted green. You can actually see the probe on the screen, probing the feature. On the left hand side of this list you can see what's been measured and what's the current feature. So the program creates its own safe volume as you measure features we will create a 20 millimeter gap around each feature and these extremes will form the envelope which forms your safe volume. Uh, the machine will not wrap it inside the safe volume and the probe will navigate its way through the program without any additional moves. Look in the top right, you can see a stop button, so you can stop the program at any time. There's also a stop button and a pause within the program playback window. Okay, and then it turns to the start position. Now you see this arc is not quite as because I would like it, so I'm just going to edit the moves. So I want to change the start and end angle. I'm going to have to choose the uh, template options and hit the make button, but I'll also make the depth to 1.5 millimeters. Hit make. Okay, now I can play this feature back on its own by hitting the play feature here, but you've got to be careful because it will go directly to that position. Better. Okay, this is feature 20. If we go to the program tree, you can find feature 20. You have the option here by right click to just run this feature only. There's two ways of doing the same thing. Okay, I want to run the whole program again, so I'll right click run from here. But this time it's going to be somewhere else. So I need to tell the software where the part is. So we use a manually measure reference feature. So I've moved the part now on the table. I click this button. And we can also remeasure the reference features afterwards if we tick this button. So I need to measure my reference features manually. This is using the joystick. And we can use the the points on the screen as a countdown. You can also see the green area on the screen, which is a feature which needs to be measured. You can see my probe is actually on the right hand side of the component now. That's where its new position is. The features will get transferred across as they are measured. So I'm now measuring my reference circle. It's highlighted in green. So 
then to a circle on the right. Because my reference line is constructed for these two circles, this should conclude my hand measurements. So we run in auto now, press OK, but do any manual moves first to clear the component. And it's actually re-measuring the, the plane. It's going to use the same points I did in my original program. See on the CNC playback window, it's actually shown the form being measured. It's actually a tick box, you don't have to show this uh, form. But it's an option in the playback window. Okay, we're almost done here. So I'm just using the view menu to zoom out a little bit and using the, the mouse to centralize the image. Okay, notice this line's a little bit shorter than I would like it, so I'm just going to physically drag the points across so I can use the mouse to reposition these probe moves to extend the, uh, the line and I just want to play that feature back on its own so edits are very simple ok so you see this cone is feature number 23 I can actually change the order in the program by swiping over the 23 and type in a new position. So it's feature 10. If we look in the inspection menu, we'll see we're now 10 in the program. But we can also move features within this list by left click and drag, and I've placed it back at the end again. So just to show you this functionality. I'm going to save my program now. So we use the disk icon. It's saved as a .cmmx file. Now I'm going to close the inspection and reopen. So if we go to inspection, we've got the open, which will just go to Windows Browser. If you click on this side option, you can see all recent programs. There's a nice shortcut to open the program again. That completes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.